Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. This is Boss Vision where I share with you all everything you need to know about making candles. Video, I'm so excited to be sharing with you all exactly how to organize your candle business inventory. It's imperative to focus on being as intentional as possible with organizing what you are paying for and where your money is going so that you can properly price your candles. Yes, so today's video will be sharing step by step what I do to keep my inventory organized and if you stand to the end, I'll be sharing exactly how to price your candles. So definitely stay tuned for the video. If you do like videos like this, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on anything else that I post. All right, let's just jump right into it. Okay guys, number one, you need to create a specific folder in your email inbox that is dedicated to your electronic invoices. Yes, I cannot stress this enough. When I first started in 2020, I was just, you know, making purchases using Klarna, you know, shop pay, paying for whatever, just to break down these high prices and I failed to keep organized so I had no idea how much money I was spending trust me if you are not focusing on how much money you're spending you are more likely to just go crazy and beyond the scope of what you really need I really really took the time out just to look at all my invoices and there were a lot of things that I ordered on accident there were a lot of things that I ordered uh, that I didn't even have to have at that moment so i highly recommend that you keep track of all of your invoices in a folder that'll let you know whether or not you've ordered from a certain supplier recently and it'll help you with other steps that are later in this process that i'm showing you today to keep track of your per candle cost okay guys number two you need to request tax exemption from any of the wholesale vendors that you intend to resell here's why it is too often that we spend time purchasing products from someone who is actually selling it for us to resell without understanding the fact that the tax included is going to be falling back on us because we are going to be selling it to another consumer. So the tax should be exempt because we have to pay it anyway so there's no point in us paying it twice so i'd highly recommend that if you work with aztec flaming candle candlesandsupplies.com make c any of these vendors definitely email them or check their about page check their support page research because this is this information is not going to be explicitly stated on any website of course not who would say that like if i had a business and i knew that uh another business owner wanted to purchase from me i really wouldn't you know emphasize the fact that they should be tax exempt because they're going to be purchasing it to resell which none of these vendors do so i really want to look out for my subscribers and the new people here hey y'all hey girl hey i want to look out for you i got your back the main thing you need to focus in on is deciding to ask for what you deserve because a lot of times i mean i spent an entire year paying tax taxes to these vendors and they would never say anything you know they just let you do it they think they know you're buying this stuff to resell it but they're not going to emphasize hey I know you're buying it to resell it and you probably shouldn't have to pay tax because often what's going to happen is you're going to pay them like $34 in tax right and then you're going to sell this product to someone and they're going to pay a per candle tax that pay, that is way less than what it was for that item that you purchased from that product consumer. So at the end of the day, you're gonna be paying more than what your customers are spending. So you don't wanna run into the scenario where you're losing money. It really adds up in terms of these larger orders. If you're spending like $100 at a vendor and you're you know spending like eight to ten dollars for tax that really can add up if you make like 10 orders like eighty dollars that is your money so i want to make sure you definitely protect your money and always request for these wholesale vendors to be tax exempt what they'll say in response is that they need to gain access to your ein and they need to see your reseller's license you could obtain both of these for free all you have to do is google ein in your state and search for the dot gov don't go to a .com, don't go to a .org, 
stay with the .gov website. That is the free website. That is the, the legal government and it is free, completely free to get an EIN. And then your state license, that also has a fee. I think it's roughly like 150, but it is worth it because it adds up in the long run and you're tax exempt forever. And then the third step should be a no brainer, but honestly it wasn't for me for a while. So maybe some people in uh, watching this video right now struggled with that as well. You need to log everything you spend. Yes. So beyond putting your invoices in a file, you need to actually have an inventory system in place, whether it be an Excel spreadsheet, a Microsoft Word document, Inventora, which is an amazing solution to keep track of your inventory. You need to have something in line to put your information on so that you can calculate your per candle cost. Once you have an understanding of how much it costs to make a candle, your perspective kind of changes as well because often we do start our business with a lack of confidence and you feel like inferior because there is this understanding that, oh my goodness, I started a business, what what if people don't like my prices? And then once you actually break down how much you spend per candle and how much time it takes you to make it, how much time it takes you to ship it out, you understand that your products are of value and you decide to add tax, okay? Know your worth and add tax, okay, period. So that's definitely important. I created a specific spreadsheet for us just to stay on track. So here's an example of how to calculate your per candle cost for each item. Um, you would start with the cost per item and divide that by the item amount and then multiply that by the amount used per candle. Okay guys, so once you gain access to the spreadsheet, here's what it will look like. Uh, as you can see, the purpose of this document is to help you manage your expenses here. So you will see automated candle cost calculator, which is the cost per item divided by the item amount then you multiply that by the amount used here would be the materials tab this is where you'll log all of your materials to keep track and as i mentioned before there's an automation to calculate your candle costs here in terms of formulas they're just in, in specifically in line with making sure you are organized and the shipping fee is always accounted for so a great example of this is if your wicks if you order your wicks by themselves and then the shipping is three dollars always incorporate that also if you ordered your wicks and you ordered uh i don't know some wax i would say just divide the shipping fee by the uh amount of products so if you honestly i would do like 80 20 like if you if your wicks you think way less i would just keep your shipping costs that you are estimating here uh, in line with how much that item weighs. And then here you'll be able to see the per candle cost. So this is automated within this uh, spreadsheet that you'll get access to. So it'll give you an opportunity to understand more about how much everything costs. And then in terms of equipment, it is also important to calculate uh, your per candle cost for any supplies as well. Honestly, when it comes to candle making, the only major supplies that in terms of equipment that would play a significant role in your per candle cost would be if you did a uh, hot glue gun and glue sticks. If you do wig stickers, you don't really have to include that in the equipment. I would say include your wig stickers in your materials tab. So yeah, I hope this helped. Let's just jump right back into the video. Okay guys, as I mentioned before, at the end of this video, I just wanna share with you all exactly how to price your candles. So I did just wanna, you know, add some color to that subject because it is a very common question. Once you're starting your business, you're looking at other people's amazing brands and you're like, how did they come about that price? Like what made them go 25? What made them go 30? Uh, often it isn't, it's the best practice to identify your per candle cost, including shipping and labor. It is important to times that by 2.5. Yes. So roughly with my candles, when I did this full calculation, my candles were like six dollars and 37 cents so if you times that by 2.5 you're able to get your per candle cost so you can include a little bit more if you wanted to and if you wanted to offer free shipping that is always a great idea if you were thinking of just you know 
focusing in on making sure you have an incentive for your consumers that's the best practice so yeah i hope this helped guys comment down below if you're going to use this spreadsheet as i mentioned before this spreadsheet is available on candlemakingsurvivalguide.com the link will be in the description down below this guide is only $9.99 right now. I am in the process of the early stages of this site, so I wanted to make sure it was a predictable price point for my audience. So I just hope you guys do take advantage of this immensely low deal and just enjoy it. Yeah, hope this video was helpful. If it was, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on anything else that I post. And I hope that you all enjoy the rest of your day, your week, your next hour. Just live in your purpose and love life. Okay, bye. bye.